So many tourists, when they come to Seoul for the first time, they only think to go to the well-known places like Gangnam, Hongdae, Itaewon, Myeongdong. Well, as a local Korean person who's living in Seoul currently, I'm going to tell you about the new up-and-coming neighborhood that you should definitely visit on your next trip to Seoul. Welcome to Shindang. It gets packed here at the weekends. I don't know if it's like worth waiting hours for. It's good, but like I had better kalguksu in like Kangdong. <laughs> but worth a try if you're here in the area. Okay, so now I've had meal. I need dessert, and like this place behind me, I've heard so much about. I had it actually saved on my maps. It's called Wogu Wogu Kwajatjeom, and it's like cookies and like all sorts of sweet treats. So let's go inside. Hi guys, my name is Anna and today I am showing you around my neighborhood which is Shindang. So I moved to Shindang back in November of last year and I really like the area. It's in the district of Junggu and there are loads of articles written about Shindangdo recently saying how it's like the new retro neighborhood of Seoul. Now Shindang is also nicknamed Hip Dangdong as in like hipster Dangdong. There's so many cool cafes, wine bars, restaurants popping up in this area and if you're here at the weekend it's like full of people in their 20s and 30s. What I really like about Shindang is how it's so close to everything. It's located on lines 2 and 6 it's basically the center of Seoul and so to your west you have like Hongdae and Myeongdong and Seoul Station to your east you have Seoul Forest, Songsu, and then to the west you have Apgujong and the whole Gangnam area I just crossed the river I can get to Apgujong in like 15 minutes by taxi so that's like amazing I'm also literally right next to Dongdaemun Market which is great for me because as you guys know I recently started my own online shop and I put Korean clothes and accessories for people who don't live in Korea so you can also shop there my whole outfit today Today is from Tom Devon, and that's where I've been sourcing all of my clothes and accessories. Go check it out down below. Shindang is basically the birthplace and the mecca of tteokbokki, which is like the popular rice cake street food snack. Come out of exit 8 at Shindang Station, and you will find the tteokbokki alley. And that whole alleyway has 40 years worth of history. I'm ashamed to say that since I've moved here, I haven't had Shindang tteokbokki yet. So. I really have to try. I don't know what I've been doing. That's definitely on my bucket list. Shindang also used to be a place where a lot of shamans gathered and lived. So the dead that came out of the Gwangimun Gate during the Joseon Dynasty, the bereaved families called in the shamans to perform rituals to soothe their souls. So that's why, like some places I walked around and then you see what looks like the swastika sign. That sign has been used in Asia in like religious symbols way, way before the Nazi party took meaning of it. So yeah, that's why you'll see some of those signs in this area. <laughs> this shop is it's called Oppa Waiting. Oppa Waiting. Shindang is definitely not like Gangnam where everything is like brand new and bright lights and flashy and everything you will still find really old school vibe of Seoul which I really really like I personally consider the north of Seoul the real part of Seoul not Gangnam but the north of the river that's real Seoul you see the juxtaposition between this like old school Seoul and then suddenly this massive American <laughs> this is when you know the neighborhood's getting gentrified you know 
The buildings are much older, they have history, they have a story to tell. And Shindang is a still a very local place rather than like a touristy place. And the Seoul Central Market, oh my gosh, there's this one hot dog stand, which hot dog is like a glutinous rice cake with like brown sugar and honey inside. It's, it's chef's kiss. There's this one particular hot dog stand that had in the coldest days of the winter, people were lining up to buy a hot dog, me included, and it's so good. Other cool places like this greedy hipster taco stand. This is the taco place that me and Sabina came here last time. They're not open yet, I don't think. It's really good, guys. And like, trust me, because there are not that many. Trust me, because there are not that many great. Oh. Trust me, because there are not that many great taco places in Seoul, but this is a good one. Really, really good. And this far place, this is always really really busy we tried to come here last time too we couldn't go in because they said it was all sold out so go and explore the Seoul Central Market it's not as big or as well known as the nearby Dongdaemun or Namdaemun food markets but there's still so much to explore so much to eat so they sell all sorts of like hantan fruits vegetables grains all this sort of thing this market was founded in the aftermath of the Korean War and many of the city's rice dealers set up shop here and at one point 70% of Seoul's rice was traded in in this market so I think that's cool as a tip from a person who lives in Shindang where all the cool places to go is the little alleyway between exit 1 and exit 12 of Shindang station so this whole street is actually so hip that over there is Chu Shindang it's like a cocktail bar I have still not been in there but the entrance look at the entrance I don't even know how you get in I will make sure I go in there at some point right next to it is Dippin I've heard so much about Dippin a chef who's worked in like fine dining Michelin star restaurants opened this place dip in it's like a wine bar i heard it was really really good so i still haven't been there either right next to it is Tobuki, this pink building right here it's like a fusion topoki place i haven't been in there either i am currently sitting outside boku boku kwadatsa and i just got sweets so actually these are all the rage right now this little thing here is called yakwa it's like a korean traditional dessert and i've seen it getting put on, on top of every single like dessert thing in korea so this is very on trend mm -hmm. oh, dopamine levels gone up <laughs> people just staring at me <laughs> but right now i very much need a afternoon caffeine pick me up so that behind me is the Uloji is the espresso cafe. Look how hip this whole place is. I'm the only one here. Look at the view. This is like a what? Look at this castle. Look at this view. This is crazy. I need to get shots. I am having way too much fun. I would want to own a cafe like this. Love it. This is a chocolate Central Mark is just there. But I just love these streets. Right now I'm walking to my other favorite cafe. They have chihuahuas in there and I miss bean. So Chihuahua Cafe, let's go.
this place is like a cafe during the day and then it's like turns into a wine bar at night. One restaurant that's really famous around here is Kimdaji Shikdam, which I've been twice already and you guys know that's like one of BTS's like go-to favorite barbecue samgyeopsa restaurants there's another restaurant near here called Bunda Shikdam and like pink rose has been there Shinda is popping basically so if you guys want to experience an old school vibe of Seoul make sure to put Shindang on your list when you visit Seoul let me know your thoughts down below and see you in the next one